<laughs> this is going to be funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, one of the questions I have is like when someone, you know, what, what's intimidating for me to go to these contests is that um, you're always worried about, you know, am I good enough or how, how, what I have to do. Like when you go to an IMAC contest, what can you expect uh, when you get there? I mean, what, what, what do you have to do to compete in an IMAC contest? So in IMAC, there's, there's a couple things. Um, all classes other than basic have to be flying a scale plane. It has to be a scale model. Uh, basic, there's no restriction. You, I mean, we've had guys come out and fly with Cubs. We've had guys come out and fly with globe, globe pattern planes or sport trainers. Yeah. So really, the, the, the requirement is, and what I always tell people is, if you want to become a better pilot and fly with a purpose instead of just boring holes in the sky and trying to keep the plane out of the dirt, yeah. start flying IMAC. Um, the contests are very laid back. Uh, I've made some great friends over the years flying IMAC. Everybody's very helpful. You know, when, whenever someone has a problem with the plane, everybody jumps in. I think there was a couple pictures from the shootout this year where one of the uh, freestyle contestants was having a problem getting his plane running. And there was 10 guys around it, hands in the plane, trying to figure out why it wouldn't run. So everyone's really helpful. There's, there's, it's not, nothing to be embarrassed about. You or know? intimidated I mean, from. Or intimidated. I mean, sure, you know, there, you know, I've been flying IMAC now for eight years. And uh, actually a little more than that, 10 years, I believe. Uh, and, and... I've just had I've had a blast with it. So um, you know, from the beginning, just just come out, come just check out. it out. I mean, if if you don't if you don't want to fly, come hang out. Check, ask someone that's flying, you know, intermediate or advanced. You know, hey, can you help me out? And and I almost guarantee you, they'll take the time to help you out and point out why someone's flying well or why someone's getting deducted. Yeah. No. But um, it, it really it changed my flying in every aspect. It changed my 3D flying. It changed my flying when I helped someone. Uh, with a new airplane, how I trim, it changed, it just changed everything because instead of just trying to get the plane from this point to this point, now you're, you're making sure at every point in between the plane's doing what you want. What you so want you're flying the plane instead of the plane flying you. Yeah, exactly. Or so, reacting to where the plane's going. Exactly. So you don't need a, a $15,000 custom built 40% airplane. Um, you know, obviously the better tools you have, the better job they can do, but you still have to. You can buy a 50 cc. You can buy, like I said, you can buy you can buy a, a, a sport pattern plane and go out and fly and get better in the process. Yeah. So so that's really the the basics of it. Um, if you go to www.mini-iac.com, I'll put that link in the the description here. Uh, you can you can search by region. So what region of the country you live in. You can see what contests are coming. They'll have links to the airfield with maps and all that, so you know where you're going. They'll have a pilot's list, and if you happen to know someone, you can contact them and, okay. yeah. and tag along. Just yeah. go. Yeah. All right, so there it is. Uh, try it out, and hopefully we'll see you out the field soon.